Do you want to manage your time better? Do you want to make the most out of every single day, be super productive, but also enjoy your time? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm about to share the top techniques that successful people use over and over again to make sure that they stay on the right track and really maximize their time. First of all, you want to make sure that you plan at least one day ahead. So many people make this mistake where they don't even know what they're doing tomorrow. There's no intention or agenda or certainty or clarity of what they're doing and especially why they're doing it. One mistake that I made early on in my journey when I was starting out as an entrepreneur was to post nonstop every single day content that wasn't reaching anybody and wasn't really helping anyone and wasn't solving any real problems. So I was doing the task, right, the work, but it wasn't getting any real results. So what I started to do was to figure out, okay, why am I doing this? How can I do this differently so that it has a better impact? And what are, what are some other things that I can also do that will help me get the same result in a more efficient and better way? Another example of that would be, you know, with acquiring clients in my business, in the beginning, it was very manual, tedious, slow, and yeah, super annoying, really. Later on, I figured out I could not do that every single day and instead solve the underlying issue and start to run advertising, have a predictable cost per acquisition with my customers and clients that I work with, and all of a sudden, my life became that much easier. So make sure that you are planning one day ahead and you have clarity on exactly what you're going to do and why you're going to do it. Why is this important? One hour by one hour play, is the minimum. If you don't know what you're doing hour by hour, you're in deep trouble because you're going to just get distracted. You're going to do random stuff that isn't helping you to move forward towards your goals and actually isn't even fun. Most of the time that is not filled out or planned ends up being procrastinating or doing something that really isn't useful. So it's not like you're even relaxing either. That's the beautiful thing about planning ahead. You'll plan some hours to actually unwind and relax and just have a good time and have no agenda at all, except the agenda being having no agenda to relax and do whatever you want. That way you're not productively procrastinating, you know, maybe checking your email or all your social media apps or whatever you do to give yourself a little dopamine boost when you're not feeling good and when you're not doing focused work. You want to avoid all that and you want to make sure that you plan with intention. Secondly, it feeds right into the first one. Fix the root cause. Stop treating the symptom. So many entrepreneurs that I work with, especially, I see this over and over again, they're putting out fires in their business every day, right? Especially when they come in, they're sort of just more an employee that deals with emergencies than an actual leader in their business and for their team, especially small business owners struggle with this a lot. And I know I have as well, so I'm definitely guilty. But with whatever it is that you do, you wanna look at, am I just treating the symptom every day? Am I just alleviating some of the pain? Or am I actually fixing the underlying issue? Why does this challenge or problem keep coming up? Why does this task keep requiring my time over and over and over again. And now we wanna to start to question it and say, can I outsource this? Is there a better way to do things that's more effective? Can I go learn something new that will help me progress faster and not be stuck in this infinite loop where I just keep really being miserable and doing the same thing over and over and over again, that's not what we're built for. We're not meant to be solving the same problem every single day. We wanna be creative, tap into our higher self, right? Our true nature of really having this vast energy pool, infinite ideas, all of this creativity that often ends up really just laying there dormant because we're too focused on putting out the fires that are right in front of our nose that day. And so we're always responding to another emergency and another urgent call instead of actually fixing the underlying issue. Now, the next method that I want you to take advantage of is the hourglass method. And the way that this works is that you essentially start to think of your time like the top of the hourglass and the bottom of the hourglass as your result. So think of it this way. If you were to put in just 
productive procrastination at the top, checking your emails, not really doing activities that move the needle towards the result and the goal that you have, then what comes out at the end, you know, no matter how much you put in, it's just a waste of time. Right? You're not really progressing, you're not really growing, maybe you're just maintaining and therefore you don't move forward. But when you shift that and you go, okay, what is the input that I have to do that will actually make progress? Again, it comes down to planning your day ahead. What do I have to do that will really move the needle for me? What will really push me forward to the next level? You really wanna analyze that. This isn't something that you wanna take lightly and go, oh yeah, maybe I should do these things. You wanna really understand cause and effect. What you input will determine the results that you see. So if you keep doing something every day, but it's not really going to get you the end result that you want, then you're just watching time go through the hourglass and there's really no point. The end result is not worth it. There is no outcome that you were genuinely excited about or that you wanted and the progress is stagnant and you feel demotivated, which then sends you into further loops of really procrastinating even more. And then you feel even worse, so you do it more, and before you know it, you're just stuck in this trap forever. And I know I've done this to myself, I've spent months of my life in these loops personally, I know how damaging they can be, and that's why I'm so adamant and so intent on getting you out of them, because it's painful, it's miserable, and you don't deserve to suffer like that just because you didn't know or weren't aware of what was happening or what you were doing to yourself. So, wake up, this is your wake up call. Please realize that you're probably throwing away a huge amount of your time just putting out fires, running around, fixing symptoms instead of treating what's really going on and then focusing your time into those clutch most important activities that will really get you the furthest progress in the least amount of time. Challenge yourself and don't settle for what you're doing currently. Don't just continue, you're watching this, you're listening to this. You wanna make sure that you take that next step and you evolve and you grow because this is the time. There's no better time than today to make that shift and to start getting more out of yourself. Now, the fourth step and technique and method that we use is the circle of focus. I credit this to a guy named Dan Henry who teaches uh, coaching and consulting online and growing coaching and consulting business, but it's really great. What he says is essentially that you just want a circle and something in that circle and you just focus on that one thing, right? So if we have a circle with one thing in it, then all the time is being spent on that one thing. Thing. There's nothing else going on. You're not distracted in 50 different directions. There's not all the stuff that you're trying to get right. And so you'll make rapid progress because our minds are extremely powerful when they get to be consumed into something or almost obsessing about something. When we really go all in on one thing, we really become almost superhuman because we start to think about it all the time and then in the moment that you least expect it, you have a breakthrough or a thought that really changes the game forever. I know that's a lot of what I credit my success to. Of course, consistency and doing the right thing over and over, but a lot of the biggest breakthrough moments came from just being focused on this one thing, not obsessing in a negative way where you're just wasting time and being frustrated, but really looking for different solutions, trying to challenge myself in the way that I was solving the problems, looking at it from different perspectives and getting more education around it. And that's really where I was able to grow so much and so, so very quickly. But what happens when you add another thing into the circle is it gets split in half. Your attention is now diluted you're not concentrated on one thing anymore. You're not just trying to progress in this one area. You have all this other stuff that starts to add up. And the more we add into this, the more your time just gets pulled into different directions. So when I say plan your day ahead and hour by hour, I don't mean just put a bunch of random stuff in there that isn't cohesive, that doesn't correlate and doesn't serve the end goal. Right? It needs to be aligned, it needs to be purposeful and meaningful, and that's why you have to ask why. And if you're trying to solve 10 different big problems in your business or in your life at the same time, you're going to get trapped, uh, trapped and stuck, and you're going to fail because you only have so much attention. So you really want a laser beam of focus into one thing so that you can just put all your attention on that 
And then once that is solved, you can move on to the next thing. And this is also where that big distinguishment comes in between, you know, doing the root cause or doing the symptom. Because if you're doing the symptom, then you have all these symptoms and you're trying to deal with them all. But if you found one root cause and one main problem that you're going to fix or one main overall project that you need to finish, that's going to get you the most progress, then it's easy because you could just pour your attention and time and dedication into that, finish it, and then go to the next thing. Also, watch out for open loops, open thought loops. The more things you have unfinished on your plate, the more your brain is just scattered and thinking about 15 different things that probably don't even matter. There's probably only one or two of them that you really need to focus on. So identify what those are and make a little priority list. Think about all the things that you need to do and really go, okay, which one's the most valuable? Let's do that. Which one nets me the most progress towards the goal that I really want the most? Now, you're being efficient through reverse engineering instead of just packing more stuff into your day or taking shorter lunch breaks, right? That's the wrong mindset. Trying to save time by not allowing yourself to rest, sleeping less, right? Uh, maybe in some cases for some entrepreneurs, it does make sense, but to stay healthy and to feel good and to enjoy your life, which is what I'm all about, I don't think it's necessary and it has never been necessary for me. And I've done really, really well over the past seven years, just doing what I love every single day, making multiple, multiple six figures from it and just yeah, having the lifestyle that I always thought was some weird pipe dream and you know, something that internet gurus promised but was never really tangible or possible. But it is, it's actually pretty easy as long as you're focused and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing instead of a bunch of nonsense that doesn't get you anywhere. And now the final step is to be a leader. I can't do everything on my own. And if I think that I can, I'm delusional. If you can build a team or a support system around you, it's going to make it way easier to hit your goals and to overall make a bigger impact and a brighter and more positive impact on the world and the people around you. So just improve your ability to help other people do better work, play, whatever it might be, right? To make the most out of their time. Because if you could do that, then everybody wins together and you wanna be in a win-win mindset. You don't want to think that there are losers and you have to try to get ahead of everybody else. This is very limiting and something that I was stuck in for a long time. I thought that for me to win, somebody else had to lose, right? That was the only way that I thought I could grow. And the reason why is because I got conditioned through video games and you know, just when you're growing up as well, you're playing sports and there's always a loser, a losing team. And you always wanna be on the winning team. But what you wanna think about instead is how can you uplift your overall environment because it benefits you, everybody around you. If you can get more efficient and more efficiency out of everybody else, then everyone's going to win together. So apply these steps, not only to yourself, but also to your environment, to your team, and to really lead and to step into a position where you're taking more responsibility. Because that's really where you will make the most out of yourself. And that's really where you will elevate to a whole nother level because you have leverage. You no longer depend on just you performing well every single day perfectly. You now have more support. And again, you are leveraged. So any decision that you make, it'll have an even greater impact. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed this and if you did, make sure that you drop me a like for the algorithms and let me know. And if you want to take advantage of our free Facebook group that I recently launched to get more exclusive content and advice and just a bunch of awesome stuff, then go to easiergrowth.com and it'll redirect you. And yeah, you can just submit your group requests. We'll see it and then we'll approve you into the group and you'll get a bunch of cool stuff. So yeah, make sure you take advantage of that if you want to. Again, easiergrowth.com. I hope that you enjoyed this. I will catch you on the next one.